Hi everyone, this is the sixth lecture on research methodology and paper writing issues. Uh, you can uh, see the other five lectures uh, uh, from the underneath where show more is visible. So you can click uh, one of those. I recommend that you click one by one so that you can have a look part one, two, three, and four, and four, five, and so on. So this is on paper writing. So uh, I hope that it will be useful for many of you. I am from University of Dhaka, Bangladesh, and uh, at this moment I am uh, working at Osaka University. So uh, write smartly to get it accepted. This is important because uh, uh, we get many research papers from young researchers, especially from uh, um, uh, developing countries, I should say, where papers are not carefully written uh, or properly checked before they submit. So, I mean, uh, by looking at the papers, many cases people just reject it. So this is very important. You consider that your paper is just like uh, the food you are serving in a restaurant. So if the serving is good, then people will look into the food, taste it, and then uh, judge uh, the quality and so on. So this is very important. Then, uh, first of all, the title, uh, no fancy words, like, I mean, uh, no noble, robust, best method, something like that, no need. If you have something, we can see in the paper. Uh, meaningful title is important, not too long title, sometimes three lines, four lines, I mean, so many things. Uh, so the title becomes uh, uh, as if uh, half of the abstract, <laughs> so don't do that. Uh, look at the uh, different uh, journals, strategies, or uh, instructions. If you look at the IEEE transactions uh, uh, website and so on, you'll find that there are some instructions uh, how to write and what uh, to do. Uh, I summarize the point first and then explain as much as possible. Number one is that, I mean, in the previous lecture, you mentioned the double blind. That means no author information. But in some cases, if you are allowed to put the author's information in affiliations, do not put PhD or student or graduate students or professor or doctor next to the name. No need. Okay. Uh, abstract should be within 150 or 200 words. It may vary, but look at the template of that journal or conference that how much the limit. Uh, keywords are necessary in most of the cases, four or five keywords are related to your topic. In some journals, there are uh, uh, possibilities of keywords to be selected uh, or taken from the uh, that list and some list. Introduction of a uh, paper should have a strong background or outline of the work, overview of the work, and a structure as part section. So, usually the last paragraph of an introduction is like this the paper is organized as follows colon then section two we did this in section three we did this uh, in section four we pre present this this something like that finally we conclude the paper in section six or seven whatever but remember if your paper is a small paper then like four pages or ten pages or eight pages do not make eight nine ten sections Try to make five or six sections unless it is really important. Okay, uh, this is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, remember that. Do not make a section which is just like one paragraph or half a paragraph, something like that. Related work is or literature review from the recent top works, it is important. Motivation or justification of this work, I mean, why uh, this work is important. Uh, so, based on the related work, you have to justify uh, your current work. Then you try to propose a new methodology or new approach or new strategy or new experiment or something like that. But be clear, be concise and clear on what you are saying. Experimental setup and results are uh, then. Finally, you try to analyze the results. You need in-depth discussions. You have to look at uh, my previous lecture. So I uh, explained this kind of information in details over there. You have to mention good points and shortcomings. Uh, you need in-depth analysis as well. Conclusions. R remember that conclusions is not the repetition of the abstract, even though it's almost the similar kind of things, but do not 
I just copy and paste and write the same things and at the end you put one or two genuine future works based on your work don't be a politician here say that uh, in future it can be done it will be done something like that don't big hope write what is possible based on your work okay and your experience acknowledgement <laughs> remember not your supervisor i found a number of papers where students uh, did not put the supervisor uh, as uh, an author instead thanking the supervisor in the acknowledgement because supervisors did nothing this is the thought but uh, this is important and do not submit any submission without the prior written approval of the supervisors and all authors so remember that references of course as part of them so uh, i'll go now in details referencing styles it has various dimensions but the peak recent papers of course from top journals and conferences do not uh, uh, provide less references uh, think about the adequate references so that uh, i mean reviewer can see that you have a sufficient background on what you have done avoid web links it is better but sometimes you may need to uh, 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 add so on that case put the access date so when you access but remember so you submitted a paper it was rejected then rejected then you are submitted to another journal or conference so by this time the access date becomes uh, more than a year old if it happens then a reviewer may think that this is a very old work so this is very careful so you check again whether the link is active and uh, put a new date and no mix up in style so look at the template you need to clarify the originality or contributions of your work many papers who do not find i mean whether it is original or a uh, contributing article okay so state clearly in the abstract that what is your contribution or whether there is any originality i mean if nothing no problem you mention what you have done okay so no ambiguity be clear and honest no fancy words like robust method novel method uh, unless a rigorous work was done so in fact one of my uh, earlier papers i used uh, uh, novel i think or robust one of the third words then uh, uh, in cbpr i found andrew gisman uh, he was asking a, an author that why did you put the robust in your title because you did not uh, put robust uh, strategies and methodologies or uh, rigorous works after that i tried uh, not to use this kind of fancy words so there's a learning when you attend uh, good conferences and meet with experts uh, through this process you can uh, be better i hope plagiarism uh, be moral and honest it is important uh, plagiarism means uh, like copying others it's, and nowadays it's not only copying the work it is about writing as well so prefer properly do not just copy and paste rephrase anything and provide reference and about self plagiarism then now the point is that i triple e plagiarism checker they consider more than 30% similarity but what is the meaning of similar they consider references names and if four or five words are similar they consider mark those so by that 30% but in other checker you can get different parameters but make sure that you do not copy a single sentence because it will be marked by the checker abstract means area of the work state the problem indicate the metho methodology mention the main findings and write main conclusions from this so it will be 150 or 200 words no references usually unless it is very important no repetition or abstract in introduction or conclusions and never write in this thesis or in this report or in this project you are submitting a paper so write in this paper but of course if you uh, submit a report or project or thesis then you can write definitely in the introduction state the research area and importance of this research focus on this area of this paper summary of existing works some uh, sometimes if you do not have enough space you can include the related work here instead of making a separate section indicate a gap of existing works raise questions make a story okay then outline your purpose of this research mention your approach and little of findings last paragraph introduction as i mentioned that the paper is organized as follows blah blah literature review from the recent works don't just mention one work after another work cluster them like groupify them so make a story of current research 
conditions and find something but a, a gap that you are trying to fulfill so sometimes related work literature review motivation background are written in the introduction if the paper is a shorter one flowchart or flow diagram we use to describe the basic methodology uh, no textbook materials or very well known methods just put the reference that's it uh, equations are important but do not repeat the equations which are available in the book Okay, and if you put any equations, mention and explain all variables uh, in each equation and justify this. Clearly highlight your contribution. If related, mention the data collection process and techniques. Results, as I mentioned in previous uh, uh, I mean lectures, that data visualization uh, is important. Do it smartly, explain properly. Visibility of the graphs or images, make sure that these are clear. Uh, don't just describe the graphs explain in depth why how where when and these kind of things look at my previous lectures i i put a, a bit more compare with the state of the arts if it is not possible by experimentally uh, at least discuss logically remember same things as table and graph no need because if you have a table and you make the from the table a graph then why you put that both things and so just use what one of those don't give many tables or graph concise them okay put the important one or put um, i mean several things in the same uh, graph or table so that uh, you can reduce the space don't hide too much information okay <laughs> i mean uh, yes papers they hide many information which are not working but don't hide too much information put something all right so that from your papers uh, future re uh, researchers can get some findings Discussions can be added after results actually in short paper. Review your findings. The findings of this work clearly demonstrate or show that, that like this. Discussion, discuss outcomes as per the goal you set in the introduction. Because you in the introduction or end of related work, you mentioned your goal. So mention those. Analyze as much as possible. Good or bad points, both. But of course, as I mentioned, do not mm, Put too much bad points uh, be realistic and uh, reasonable refer other papers to support your claim or failure mention the impact of your results mention some limitations and recommendations it is not exactly as future work we need to analyze in depth considering where it works well and why where it fails and why what are the boundaries and Show some experimental and the best one is theoretical proofs where it may work upon some improvements you can you could not try that would be the future work concept and so on. so your findings and conclusions should be concrete and need mathematical and statistical analysis investigation and so on so a data running time and blah blah these are okay no repetitions of abstract summary of the entire work in two or three paragraphs and last two three sentences are usually future work plans in the conclusions usually we do not put any reference no section number for future work usually future work is just like uh, 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 the last two words uh, sentences of conclusion section so no need acknowledgement usually no section number references no section number now in some journals competing interest is a term we need to put so the authors declared that they have no competing interest so uh, look at the nature website here and you find that financial or non-financial interest that may i mean have some potential influence on your paper or research work in many cases authors contributions are important regarding concept who conceptualized what methodology formal analysis who prepared the draft and editing and supervision and so on and all authors must whether you make it or not read i mean whether you need to write or not but remember all authors must have read and agreed on the paper before you submit now you search for some five papers and reject them all okay <laughs> and be a reviewer reviews through this process you can try to understand so uh, with that i'd like to conclude the paper writing uh, within 15 minutes uh, 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 in future lectures, I'll try to give few more which will be helpful for you. So once again, uh, share with others and inform others, especially young researchers and students, so that uh, this lecture can be useful for some of them. 
Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can write comment here. Thank you.